All right, I'm the Flat Rant Master, and this is a rant about management companies pushing a 60% margin. I can already feel it. Everybody running to the, the to the comments, tell me I'm wrong without even watching the video. First off, profits not ain't ugly word. It's not. I'm not saying you shouldn't make profit, but we're gonna talk about why pricing off of the management guru's 60% margin is problematic. It's a formula to take your cost to get it to the sale price based on the margin you want. Now we're gonna talk about why using 60% is flawed. Basic for those in the audience that doesn't understand margin, keep in mind, all you business owners running out there, you know, typing in the comments away, I've owned multiple businesses. I currently own a business. By the way, this video came out of Yesterday's video talking about service riders. This kind of ties into that and I had a whole rant on that subject in that video that I decided would be better served by its own video, so here we are. So let's take some examples of why margin is inherently flawed. So you take a part that costs $20, you have a 60% margin, sell it for 50 bucks, you make 30 bucks on it. Instead of getting the crap Dorman one, you got OEM. So that one cost you $60. Take that same margin, you now cost the customer $150 and you made $90. Great, you made more money, except you priced the part in excess of the retail market. Now that's fine and if you can get away with it, great, more power to you. The problem with this is most management companies become so obsessed with that 60% mark that they're not gonna do the OEM part because they can make more margin on that cheaper part. Now I've also seen where people will take that $20 part and then mark it up 70 or 90%. Then you get to the same price as the OEM one, except you're making more money. Kind of sketchy as far as uh, you know business practices, but that's you. So you go to sell that OEM part to the customer and they balk at the price of the part. How you present it is up to you. That's not really part of this discussion, but we're discussing margin. So the service rider backs off and go, oh, we can sell you this part for this much money. So he can maintain his margin or even increase it because he can sell it for more money because the customer's already hit with the highball. Whereas if he just tried to sell that part at a 50% margin, he'd have had a $50 profit. My point of that is, is selling a better part at a lower margin, but more profit is more important than a number on a spreadsheet. That's the important part. Now, I know a lot of people in the in the comments are gonna be like, well, we look at profit too, and yeah, yeah, I know, okay? But a lot of people in those management groups really do not understand P&Ls. Do not really understand how margin works even. They just know to put 60% in their calculator in their management software and it spits out how much it should be. That's one of my problems with margin is so few people really understand what they're doing when they are calculating margin. You know, margin is a great number when you get it. The problem is, is when you don't get it, zero times zero is still zero. I'm going after all the comments too. Well, when we're selling an engine, we can't do 60%, so we have to, you know, you, you can't, you know, <laughs> if you mark up an engine 60%, you're not getting the sale on 99% of the people. But I digress. It, it's that mentality is one of the issues with shop management groups is they want to quickly blast you with, you know, this will fix your business. 60% margin on parts. You'll make buttloads of money. And you can I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying there's better ways out there than just focusing on margin. You should, should be focusing on profit, parts profit. Because going back to that $20 part, 60% margin, remember, you made 30 bucks. 50% profit, you made 50 bucks chasing pennies to get dimes. Now, yeah, if you can sell it for 50 bucks, you make 90 bucks. You know, sure, if you sell it for the full 60 points, you make 90 bucks, even better. And I'm not, you know, 
Not saying that's wrong. Now, selling a $20 part for the over the cost of an OEM part, that's kind of a sketch. Let's take the same 20 and 60, but instead put a K behind it. Let's say you know, that's your monthly sales. You're selling all cheap parts. That's your monthly parts revenue for the shop. So you sell all cheap parts at 60% margin. Just using this as an example, your net sales is 50K. Your net profit is 30K. Let's take that 60K, 50% margin, you sell for 120,000 and you make 60, $60,000 versus $30,000. You lost 10 points though. You see my point? Margin is a good, useful metric, but it's overused when it comes to management groups. They push that 60% margin. So many business owners really don't understand what they're doing when they do that. They're just listening to the guru and slapping 60% on everything and hoping their, their service writers can sell it at 60 points. Keep in mind, there are shops that do. There's plenty of shops that, that do. So not saying you can't sell the OEM part at 60%, but it makes it a lot harder when you're pricing yourself that far out of the market. It makes it more difficult. Margin is, is a useless number. Profit is what matters. The dollars in the bank account is what matters. So while it's a good way to get your management system to spit out a number, there's a lot more nuance to that than just 60 points. And I hope I got that across in this video. So just a quick note, uh, I've been to two management classes over several years difference, and they're both single day classes. So, you know, I don't have, you know, deep into shop fix or any of those kind of management groups. My knowledge on it is, is you know, two different one day classes. So. I may be 100% wrong. They may go into very deep detail about this kind of stuff, but I don't know directly. So just a little side note, but they did not, in either one of those classes, did they explain really what margin is? All they talked about was you need 60% margin on your parts, more or less the end of this discussion. This is how you do it. They also talked about pricing bolts and nuts and you know little things at 200, 300%, stuff like that, which I thought was you know a little scuzzy, but you know, up to you. My biggest problem with these management groups pushing the 60% margin thing is I don't think they do a very good job of explaining really how their business is supposed to work. And I, that should be part of their problem because that's one of the biggest problems with business owners is they really do not understand business and how to run a business. I mean, that's, that, that honestly is one of the things that a lot of you know management groups do really well at is seeing problems within a shop and being able to steer them in a direction that is better for the business. So there are some good things about management groups. There's a lot of other ones that are bad. That'll be a separate video. So, you know, subscribe and all that. My little side rant on why margin is such a stupid thing to focus on in a business. You need to focus on profit, not margin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.